coming to an end and I haven't talked at all on this so I thought that I would end it by talking to you guys about my top 20 favorite songs. Okay, and so going really in no particular order except for the very last ones, um, those are my top, top favorites. But um, number 25 is Adrian von Ziegler, Wolf Blood. Number 24 is Something by The Beatles. Absolutely love that song. I remember listening to that song as a kid and just being like, I would love to be able to write a song like that one day. It's just a masterpiece. Um, one of the best love songs of all time. Number 23, Purple Rain by Prince. 22, The House of the Rising Sun. The lyrics are fantastic. The melody, uh, I used to listen to that all the time when I was in the car driving around with my family when I was a little kid. Number 21, Metallica, Nothing Else Matters. I used to be totally obsessed with this song when I was a teenager. Um, just the song itself, it's a rock ballad which have really been dying out over the last few years and I'm a huge fan of rock ballads so yeah really really love that song the whole instrumentation the way it was done as well as the lyrics itself is just really beautiful and I love the solo as well number 20 Jeff Beck seasons I love that song um, I used to listen to that all the time when I was really getting into guitar and thinking how can I play like this guy how can I play like Jeff Beck um, so yeah, it's one of my favorite songs. Uh, number 19 is Megadeth, A Tout Le Monde. I really, really, really love that song. It's so beautiful. Yeah, just a big fan of that song and Megadeth in general. Number 17 is Pantera, I'm Broken, because who doesn't relate to that song at some time in their life? Love that song, super heavy, um, really awesome riff. Number 16 is Fleetwood Mac, The Chain. Yeah, I absolutely love the song, folk rock. Just a great song, so groovy, I really love it. Number 15 is Typo Negative, Love You To Death. It's such a beautiful, sexy song and I love it. Um, number 14, Black Label Society, Crazy Horse. Love that song, super ballsy, absolutely adore that song. Listen to it when I'm feeling down, pumps me up. Number 13, Bach, Toccata and Fugue. <laughs> That's why I did a cover. And this year I really tried to do some covers of some songs that I've always wanted to do. Um, it was a challenge to do that song and I had a lot of fun with it. Number 12, The Beatles, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. It's one of my favorite songs. It's just amazing, just an amazing song. Really great melody. Number 11 is Meet Me in the Woods by Lord Huron because it's just a folk rock song that I really, really, really like and identify with. The lyrics are very beautiful, a little bit dark, but something I really, really, I just really like that song. It's a really good song. Number 10, The Loner, because I really identify with the song. Um, this song really speaks to me. The instrumental guitar is just so beautiful and no lyrics are needed because the guitar speaks for itself. Now we're getting into the very last ones. Um, number nine, Ozzy, No More Tears, Changed My Life, Made Me Want to Play Guitar, like Zach Wilde. And then, um, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm looking at my computer because if I don't, I will forget my list. So yeah, looking down at my computer. Number eight is Paint It Black by the Rolling Stones. Who doesn't love that song? It's such a true, classic, great rock and roll song. Number seven, Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd. Of course, Pink Floyd. Now we're getting into the very last of my favorites, very top favorites. Um, number six, Black Label Society, Sleeping Dogs. Super special song to me. Very special song uh, for a lot of different reasons. I actually went a workshop sponsored by Guitar Center to um, meet Zach Wilde and do a, a masterclass. So that was really special and I absolutely love that song. Okay, countdown. Number five, top favorite song is Led Zeppelin, All of My Love, or All My Love. I love this song. Used to listen to it obsessively when I was like 15, 16, just listening to it with my headphones like, oh my gosh, it's so, just gives me, I don't know, it's just really special to me. I just love that song. Um, number four, P 
Pink Floyd, Run Like Hell. This song is absolutely incredible. Number one, it's Pink Floyd and the song itself. Go listen to it if you haven't. Um, really pumps me up and it just, especially now that we're, you know, we're out of 2020, I really relate to this song, like running like hell, like running away from your problems or running away from this, the year that we had that was completely insane, so yeah. Number three, Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. Masterpiece, one of the greatest songs of all time. And number two, High Hopes by Pink Floyd. What else can I say? This song is on a spiritual level with me and I just absolutely love this song. And number one, -da 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 -da, drum roll, is Comfortably Numb. It's my favorite song. Um, it was one of my dad's favorite songs. Um, it's just, it's just perfect. The lyrics, the melody, the guitar solo at the end. There's a little guitar solo um, in the middle of the song as well. So if you have a different song list, and I'm sure that you do, so everyone's gonna have a different song list, please make sure to share some of your favorite songs with me. Also, this is me in this moment in time. If you were to ask me to do a song list tomorrow, or a song list last week, or a song list last month, last year, next year, it's gonna be different. Um, we're constantly in flux. We're always changing a little bit. So um, yeah, this is me right now. This is my song list, my top 20 songs that I'm listening to and just feel like listening to right now. I hope you guys have a safe and prosperous and healthy 2021. Last year was completely insane. Um, this is the first day of the year this vlog is kind of just scattered around from the last moments of December to now. And I want to thank you guys so much for being here with me, for supporting me, watching my videos, supporting me on my other social media, or whether it's, you know, my Instagram or Facebook or Patreon. Um, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to tie up this vlog now. It's starting to get dusky now. And you never know, like the lingering weirdness of 2020, there might be werewolves or vampires or something. Who knows? I mean, who the hell knows anymore? So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. I'm working on a new cover right now. And thank you guys so much for all your support. Bye, take care, bye.